Okay guys, I'm going to stick this behind uh, the video because I've been uh, dinking around with the leftover paint. Oh boy, this has so many possibilities. Okay, look at this. What is that? How beautiful is this? This was the leftover paint. This. Leftovers. That's what I made. Look at that. How beautiful is this? I am so over the moon with this stuff. Look at it. Can you imagine this? This is um, Arthur Brothers' work. Wow! <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm going to make some uh, macros. Oh man, this is this is amazing. Yeah, anyone that's doing this stuff, you have to try this. Please, please try this. There's no pouring medium, there is no silicone, and this is what we get. Look at it. It is amazing. And this is on Yupo. Can you believe that? I just did a Yupo. Just to make it totally um you know, I didn't want to waste the canvas. Now I'm, oh, I, I, why didn't I use a canvas? Can you imagine this really big on a wall? Oh, this would be so unbelievably beautiful. Look at that. Even this. Macro shot. Look at that. Oh, uh, I am so going to buy, I'm going to buy liters and liters of that golden uh how do you call it fluid acrylics i don't care i'm i'm buying liters and liters of the stuff and um and i'm buying flow troll okay guys i'll show you the flow troll i'm using because you know if you don't get the same thing i do i know danny uses uh, flood but i use this one there you go so if you want to google it you google uh first you google the brand that's owa troll and then you do the flu troll. That's it. Buy this flu troll. It's amazing. I'm going to be doing a lot, a lot, a lot of pours with this the upcoming days. As long as it's hot and, uh, you know, yesterday I couldn't get anything. I did so many pours, got nothing. And now I'm getting the most beautiful stuff I've ever seen. So I'm going to put this short little video in front of the big pour so people when you're watching this it's not over i'm doing a big pour so i'll just get you a little bit more of a close-up look at this it's just still getting better better and better oh i'm so gonna set up my camera and do macros oh yeah and i, I almost forgot these are ribbons Look at those beautiful ribbons. Even that works better with Floetrol than it does with Liquitex. What are we doing? I got so stuck on um, on the paint and on the silicone and on the Floetrol, uh, Floetrol on the um, on the um, the torch. You know this this isn't torched. I did not touch this with the torch. This is so beautiful. I'm going to be testing it on all kinds of paint, though, because um, I know how, how expensive this is. And for a lot of people, you, you know, it's just beyond your reach. I, <coughs> I, I really realize. So don't worry. I will be testing it with all those paints. Everything you see up there, I will be testing. And then I'll be testing with these two. And I'll test with that. So you're going to get a whole lot of tests with Danny's. That's the recipe. Okay. Um, enjoy the big pour. And I'll see you tomorrow because this is my last video for today. But I want to, um, for the people that still have a Sunday left, have a really beautiful Sunday. I love you all. I love everyone for their support to my channel and um, for the kind words you leave behind. So I'll see you all tomorrow and have a lot of fun. Bye-bye.
Hi guys. Well, you're gonna see something totally different. This is new. Very scary. Oh, what's this? I don't have those little things that go in the uh, in the. Ooh, that's there's a little bit of, of wood out of there, but that doesn't matter. This is going to be, I'm going to start at 600 because 6 is my lucky number. 600, that's it. Just because I can. So this morning you've seen uh, the trip I uh, did um, to the uh, windmill. And I've been thinking about a lot of things all day. And I was thinking about the sills that wouldn't pop up. So I thought, you know what, let's do something totally different. So I'm going to put this on uh, YouTube anyway, even if it doesn't work. And if it does work, then all credits go to Danny Clark. <laughs> yep. Danny Clark did a uh, video on... Uh, paint with Floetrol only and a little bit of alcohol and that's it So I made up some colors uh, Just some colors that you know, you can see really well on the uh, video Not the colors that I would normally mix together, but who knows maybe it it's going to uh, look good are we flickering yet? No, we're not. That's good. Sometimes it flickers, sometimes it doesn't. So um, here's the paint I mixed up. This is Titan Buff with Floetrol and alcohol. And then I got a lot of golden colors. Let's see. Okay, I got the little ones, but Danny said, you know, go for the big ones because this is too expensive. But I had them anyway, so this one, you can see the name. Then I have this one. Then we have this one, Cobalt Turquoise. And we have this one, Quinacridone. Quinacridone Violet and the Titan Buff. This is just um, uh, Windsor and Newton and this is a little bit of uh, titanium white in, in there to just lighten it up a little bit. We'll see what it does. We don't care. This is a test. So what I'm going to do is start with this one. Just layer in the colors. We have absolutely no idea what this is going to do. I did hold, I did, um, you know, do exactly like he said uh, I should do. So I weighed all the paint and I weighed the flute flow troll. I did all that. So I'm hoping that I did well. Now I'm layering it like Danny did. You know, not all the color at once, just a couple of layers. And the last one. And I'm filling the cup right up because I have a, a 30 by 30. I'm not sure how much I need. So here we go, turning it up. Oh, look at those nice, nice bright colors. Okay, let's just let it go. There we go. Now, I know that he said just don't do anything yet. Just let that stuff work. So that's what we're going to do. I am letting it tilt just a little bit. I'm not going to let it off the canvas though, not yet. Ooh, it's going off the canvas. Well, then I'll just have to let it speed up a little bit and I can tell you right now I love it 
letting go down here. Whoopsie daisy. And then down that way. If it will make a little bit of speed so it goes down there. There we go. And I am not touching this baby at all. Look at that. How beautiful is this? Ah, oh, man. This is amazing. I'm telling you guys, this is better than silicone. Oh, I just hope it dries like this. Look at that. It's even getting better. Oh, I got to wash. I got to clean my hands real quick. Please let it stay like this. Please, please, please. This is just, you know, just drop dead gorgeous. And the good thing is we're in this heat because it is hot. I'm telling you, it is hot. But it is Oh, even those little drops there. Oh, you got to see them. And what he uh, also did was, you know, with the leftover paint, he uh, made little ribbons. But I don't want to do that because I love this thing. I don't know if you can pick them up, but there are cells in the Titan buff. And then here it came, it came up. This is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I don't want to do this, but I have to. I have to cover the corners just a little bit and here the green is popping up some colors I guess it made green oh I don't want to do anything to this canvas wow <laughs> I'm so happy I am happy Danny Clark you are the master of this type of pour. If this dries like this, then I will comment three times on all of your videos. <laughs> I will. Because this is just drop dead gorgeous. Even here where the, um, where the blue is popping through, that even adds to the whole painting. Wow. I'm going to get you guys down. And look, I'm not even dirty. How's that? Oh, those are beautiful. I hope you can see them from up there. I'm going to give you a close-up of those. Just wait a minute. I'm going to slide this over a little bit. Oh, look at that. Oh, guys, just throw your silicone out the door. Throw your silicone out the door right now. Look at this. Let me get in. Look at that. I'm sorry the glare, but is that oh, gorgeous? Now look at this on the table. Look at that. And look at those drips. Just those drips are driving me crazy so beautiful. Let's see, more drips. Look at those drips. Oh boy. Guys, can you imagine how much I'm going to test this stuff? I am going to the shop on Tuesday. Don't tell my husband. <laughs> no, please don't tell my husband. But I'm going to buy uh, the bigger bottles, but they are so expensive. I don't care. I'm going to buy them anyway. Look at that. Does it get any, any better than that? Oh, all sorts of things are racing through my mind. This is gorgeous. Look at that. Even the, the drips on the table is drop-dead gorgeous. I'm sorry if you don't like it, but, you know, I am mesmerized by what this stuff has done. Oh, and i got to get this thing leveled, leveled out. It's still working, though, I can see.
And this is just the first one. This is just a flip cup. Do you see the uh, how that comes through? Those colored bits. Isn't that gorgeous? And and then this bit here. Look at that. Okay, people, it's time to dump the uh, silicone. I think so. And dump the uh, pouring medium. Liquitex is um, too bad. They changed something, or I don't know what they did, but I if this dries like this, you know, we still have to take that into consideration, but if this dries like this, I will not be going back to Liquitex or silicone. So this is the bomb. Look at that. Well, maybe I might do some. <laughs> I might just mi miss the torching. I don't want to torch this, though. I don't want to fluke it. Oh, boy. So uh, we'll just let it dry for a bit. I'm going to put it up uh, level. I'm going to make sure it's level because you know how my tables are. Last time I did a swipe, it all just ran off the canvas. So you got to make sure that it stays like this. And uh, I am already thinking if I could do this maybe with just acrylic paint. I think I'll have to pop uh, Danny a message or, s or two. Uh, okay. Let's just let this dry. I'm going to put this up on uh, YouTube. Let me get you a good shot from up above. Let me turn off one light. There we go. And no torching and no silicone. But next time we want to have something that is... Um, <clears throat> what I'm going to do... I'm gonna, Next time I'm going to leave out the Titan buff. And I'm going to replace it for... Uh, Danny had uh, talked about uh, iridescent... Let me check. See here I was... Um, I've been weighing all the stuff. Weighing everything. Here are the colors I have. And he talked about iridescent pearl. Oops. There it is on the... Uh, that's the recipe. That's the recipe. 25 milliliters Floetrol, 5 milliliters Fluid Acrylics, and then 2 milliliters Alcohol. That's what I had in the colors. And then the Titan Buff. I put in a little bit more alcohol because uh, it was a lot more uh, paint. And but he said to do that, buy that. So that's what I'm gonna buy tomorrow. If not tomorrow, Tuesday. Tuesday, my um, the shop is open, so I'll go get that. Oh boy. I just hope it dries like that so, because you know this is like my first time pour. And then of course we can play around with those. We can see what that does. Got so much Americana that I, sh I should be using some of them. I just might do one right now, 20 by 20. What do you guys think? Yes? Okay, let me clean that up and um, I'll see you in the next video. Love you guys. Bye bye.